The history of the spinning jenny and the power loom. The spinning jenny is a multi-spindle spinning frame and was one of the key developments in the industrialization of weaving during the early industrial revolution. It was invented in 1764 by James Hargreaves in Stanhill, Lancashire in England. The device reduced the amount of work needed to produce yarn, as one worker could work eight or more spindles at once. This grew into the power loom in 1785 by Edmund Cartwright, which further increased production capabilities. The power loom was a mechanized weaving machine that used powered components to automate the process of weaving cloth. The power loom was driven by a water wheel and would weave continuously, producing cloth of high quality. The spinning jenny is selectively operated from the floor, rather than from above as with the power loom. The frame consists of two main parts, a vertical spindle shaft that sits on top of a horizontal spindle wheel that spins around the shaft and is in line with it at all times. The wheel does not turn relative to the shaft. A worker controls this movement using a foot treadle or by pulling on cords attached to each side of the device. Depending on variations in design, up to eight spindles can be attached to the same shaft. The yarn produced by a jenny is weaker than that of a power loom, but because one worker can operate it, it has proved both more cost-effective and more efficient for mass production. The spinning jenny is operated from the floor winder. A worker operating a jacquard lace machine pulls the thread tight from the bottom onto spool with a needle so its tension holds the pattern in place. The jenny and the power loom were two labor-saving devices that replaced the spinning wheel. How was spinning jenny and the power loom used in the Industrial Revolution? The spinning jenny and the power loom were both key inventions during the Industrial Revolution. The spinning jenny was a machine that allowed multiple spools of thread to be spun at the same time. This allowed for the much faster and more efficient production of textiles. The power loom was a mechanized loom that automated the process of weaving fabrics, allowing for the mass production of textiles and improved efficiency. These inventions revolutionized the textile industry, allowing for faster and cheaper production of goods, which in turn allowed for increased trade and economic growth. What impact did spinning jenny and the power loom have on textile production? The spinning jenny and the power loom drastically increased the efficiency of textile production. The spinning jenny allowed for multiple threads to be spun at once, which decreased the amount of labor needed to produce cloth. The power loom also increased production efficiency by automating the weaving process. By eliminating much of the manual labor involved in textile production, these inventions allowed for a much greater output of fabric in a shorter period of time. What are some of the advantages of using a spinning jenny and the power loom? The spinning jenny and the power loom had a major impact on the textile production industry, allowing for more efficient production of textiles. The spinning jenny, invented by James Hargreaves in 1764, was a multi-spindle spinning wheel that could produce up to eight spindles at once. This greatly increased the speed of spinning yarn compared to traditional spinning wheels. The power loom, invented by Edmund Cartwright in 1785, was a mechanized loom that could weave fabric much faster than hand weaving, thus greatly increasing productivity. Some of the advantages of using the spinning jenny and the power loom were that they could increase production, reduce labor costs, allow for frequent weaving operations to prevent waste, and even create more complex pieces of fabric. How have spinning jenny and the power loom evolved over time? The spinning jenny and the power loom were two of the most important inventions of the Industrial Revolution. The spinning jenny revolutionized the way textile production was done. It was a simple device that allowed multiple spindles to be operated simultaneously, increasing the efficiency of yarn production. The power loom revolutionized weaving by introducing automation to the process. Both inventions have evolved over time, with improvements made to increase their efficiency and accuracy. What kind of fabrics can be produced with a spinning jenny or a power loom? The spinning jenny was first used for spinning thread, yarn, and other materials for fabric production. The power loom was mainly used for weaving fabrics like cotton, wool, and silk. How does a spinning jenny work? It was used to spin multiple threads at the same time. The machine consists of a wheel with several spindles attached to it and a set of treadles. 
The operator sits on the treadles and turns the wheel, which in turn rotates the spindles. As the spindles rotate, they twist and wind the thread around them. This process produces multiple threads that can be used for weaving or knitting. How does a power loom work? A power loom is a machine used to weave or knit fabric. It consists of two or three horizontal shafts and a vertically mounted beam with a series of beta bars on it. The operator sits at the bottom of the vertical shaft and turns the shaft to control the motion of the beta bars, which in turn cause yarn to move up and down between warp threads. The operator can also use controlling levers on each side of them to change how many warp threads are being used at any given time. This machine was invented by Edmund Cartwright from his design for warping and shedding cloth. Are there any safety concerns when using a spinning jenny or a power loom? Spinning jennies and power looms are two of the most widely used textile machines in the world. While these machines can be incredibly useful for producing high-quality fabrics, they come with certain safety concerns that must be taken into consideration. From the potential for injuries due to improperly operated machinery to the risk of dust and debris inhalation, it is important to understand the potential risks associated with using spinning jennies and power looms. The first safety concern related to these machines is the potential for personal injuries caused by improper machinery. While the spinning process is a precise and controlled mode of textile production, there are still some risk factors associated with it. For instance, if the jenny rotates counterclockwise while a worker's arm enters, they could suffer broken bones or other serious injuries. To reduce this risk, employers should observe workers during their workday to ensure that they do not violate safety guidelines. In addition, employers should place new and experienced workers in separate areas during production so as not to confuse them about where their work area is. The second safety concern related to these machines is the risk of destroying expensive fabrics and creating waste products. This can be caused by jenny parts that are broken in a machine or by the machine's inability to make new parts because it is out of oil or other supplies. If this problem occurs, employers should allow workers enough time between productions so they can repair the machine before production resumes, which would prevent further waste materials from being created. A third safety concern associated with machinery in factories like these is the risk of injury caused by accidents. For example, a worker might trip over a cord or a ladder that is being used as a support for the machine and fall. To reduce the risk of injury, employers should always provide workers with proper training on safe work practices, as well as safe methods for completing their assigned tasks. Are there any modern alternatives to the spinning jenny and the power loom? Yes. There are modern alternatives to the spinning jenny and the power loom. Modern alternatives include computerized looms, such as the rapier loom, jacquard loom, and air jet loom, as well as modern spinning machines, such as ring spinning frames and roving frames.